Alright. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makakudash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is Bobby Akanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it be edifying unto you brothers out there and a few sisters listening and also learning. Now, um, in this video, I really want to um, speak upon, you know, the importance of investing all of your spirit into this truth you know all of your spirit all of your essence you know all of your being you know into this truth into this wisdom knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai into this ministry into the brotherhood alright because like it tells us in um what's that I believe it's in John chapter 9 You know, the scriptures tell us that, you know, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day because the night cometh when no man can work. You know, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world and we got the light. You know, we got the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Okay, we have this truth. And the scripture tells us, you know, let your light shine before men, you know, so others may see. All right? So while we are here, we have to put our all into this truth, into this ministry, okay? We have to devote ourselves fully into this ministry, man. And that's why it tells us in Romans chapter 12, from the top on down, that we are to present our bodies as a living sacrifice unto Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. And it also says in that same chapter that that is our reasonable service. All right? That is our reasonable service, man. And to be quite frank and to be quite honest, just having the mere opportunity, okay, to go out there on the highways and the byways and to have the chance to make your calling and election sure is a blessing from Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? Like it tells us in the scriptures, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. So it is guaranteed. We already know that we've been called. Okay? But we must persevere. Okay? We must endure unto the end to ensure that we are chosen. All right? We must do this until the end to ensure and to solidify the fact that we are chosen. And it's only Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai that's going to give you the strength and the will and the perseverance to actually accomplish that, man. And we know that. That's why, you know, we brand ourselves, we call ourselves, you know, the hopeful elect because we only truly know if we're of the elect at the end. When it's all said and done, you know, as they say. When it's all said and done and we're still here, you know, we've kept the faith. You know, like it says in the book of Timothy, like the Apostle Paul said, you know, he's finished his course and he's kept the faith. That's the only time we're going to know that we, we, we were actually of the elect, okay? If you maintain unto the end, he that enjoyeth unto the end, the same shall be saved, Okay? So this is all about endurance. This is all about diligence. Okay? You got to invest all of your essence, all of your spirit into this ministry, into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, into the brotherhood. Okay? Now, the scriptures also say, the scriptures also say that, um, Whatever 
you put your hand to do, to do it with all thy might. All right? So how much more this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? How much more the ministry? How much more, you know, the actual occupation of being a mouthpiece, a spokesperson for the creator of all things, for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh How much more should you have to put your all into that, man? Okay? Because when you're working for Esau, you can't slack. You know, this particular, you know, enterprises out there, businesses that Esau runs, and they be keeping tabs on you to make sure that you're not falling under the required standard that they expect. And if you do, he will get rid of you, you know? Or he may go through a sequence of disciplinary, you know, action against you. You know, he might put you on a, a pip, you know, which is basically like a self-improvement plan, all right? And if you don't improve within a particular time scale, they will simply get rid of you, all right? That's how it works in Esau's world, man, okay? You got many different things that they will do, you know, to try and um, improve your, your, um, your work ethic before they get rid of you. Okay, but if you haven't been in, you know, for a very long time, they can actually just get rid of you, man. Especially if you don't have a solidified contract with the company, they can just get rid of you straight away. All right, but if you have a contract and you've been with them, you know, for more than a year, all right, then they have to go through, you know, particular procedures to get rid of you because no one wants a slacker in their company. No one wants anyone that is just wasting space. Okay? So the scriptures talk about how the Lord has given us a penny. He's given us a portion of the spirit to work with. So we have to fully utilize that portion of the spirit that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has bestowed upon us, man. Or he will take it away altogether. And that's why we have Psalms 51. Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me. You know? That's why you have to pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai not to take away your Holy Spirit. All right, because one day you can literally just wake up and it's happened to men. You can wake up and then you can bug out. You can start speaking and teaching doctrines of devils. Okay, you can lose the faith. You can get tired of waiting. All right, you lose patience. You can get offended in your hour shy, man. All right, that's why these things are written down in the scriptures, man. The Lord has given us many, you know, different warnings of what can happen. All right. If you don't remain diligent in this truth, what do they say in the world? Um, the devil makes work for idle thumbs. Roughly paraphrasing, you know? So if you ain't if you ain't occupied in this truth, then what the hell are you doing in this wicked world, man? Okay? What the hell are you doing if you're not occupied in prophecy? Like it tells us in uh, Sirach 39. What are you doing? All right, if you're not thinking about meditating on the end of this kingdom, you know, having holy, holy, holy conversations with Archeum, okay? Reading the scriptures, making videos. If you're not doing these things, then you really have to question what are you doing with your life, man? You know, how are you spending your time? How much of your time is actually going towards the ministry and going towards pushing the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai out there? You know, these are these are these are questions that you really have to ask yourself, man. You know? And these are questions that I ask myself, man. You know, sometimes you might have a week where you feel like you ain't done enough, man. Well, most of the time <laughs> you feel like you haven't done enough because it's never enough. All right? It's never enough, and that's the truth. It's never enough, man. You know? And sometimes you be feeling like to yourself, man, I ain't done enough. I got to do more. You know, and then you feel a little bit better, you know, but when you know you haven't done enough, you feel cut in the spirit, man. You know, you feel like your Yahweh Shim Yahushai is gonna cast you away. He's gonna take you out, he's gonna kill you, man. Because this truth is deadly serious. This ain't no joke, all right? This ain't no joke. So if you don't utilize the gift that your Yahweh Shim Yahushai has given you, then he can indeed take it away. All right? So that's why the scripture says that we have to work out 
our own salvation in fear and in trembling, man. Okay, that's not written for no reason. That's not written there, you know, because it sounds good, all right, or it sounds threatening. No, that's written there because this truth is deadly serious and the Lord means it, man. Okay? If you don't utilize what you have, your how about Shim Shai will take you out the game, man. All right? If you don't utilize your portion of the spirit that your how about Shim Shai has, has bestowed upon you, the Lord will take you out the game. All right? He will dim you. He will dim the light that was bestowed upon you, all right? And you will go dim and you will go back into the world and you will not see the importance of this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, okay? And the Lord can do that and the Lord has done that before. That's why we have examples, all right? We have examples set, set there for a reason, all right? So you don't follow in the same footsteps as those examples. To bestow fear in your heart to make sure that you don't do the same thing to keep you in the fear of your how about Shai. what did king david say man unite my unite my heart you know meaning his love all right in the hebrew which means your heart you know your 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 your, your, your mind you know your spirit to fear thy name you know that's what king david said man He wanted his heart, you know, his mind to be united with the fear of the name of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. All right? And that's a beautiful thing because if you fear Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, that's going to keep you in check. That's going to keep you doing the right thing. That's going to keep you striving for the truth until death, like it tells us in the scriptures. Strive for the truth until death. Why do you think it says that? You know, striving for the truth until death. So that, that, that highlights and proves to the fact that we are indeed living sacrifices, man, onto this faith, man, onto this truth. Okay, so we gotta invest our all into this ministry, man, going back to the original um, topic at hand. We have to invest our all into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, not 5%, not 10%, not 15%, 20%, not even 50%. We have to invest our all into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay? Because if we don't, then you how about Shim Yao Shai could take us out. I'll quote it again. Whatever you put your hand to do, do it with all thy strength. How much more this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding? The scriptures speak about in the book of Matthews, you know, laying up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and dust and robbers can't, you know, break in and still roughly paraphrasing. Okay? Don't lay up, don't lay up, don't lay up uh, treasures upon earth. You know? Let me quote that properly. Don't lay up treasures upon earth where moth and dust, you know, can corrupt and robbers can break through and still lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Okay, secure treasures. Okay, that's secure treasures. When you do this work, you're literally laying up for yourselves treasures in the heaven. You know, your good works that you do in the ministry, okay, they have value. Okay, there's a value to the things that you do for your how about Shimmy Shai upon the face of the earth. There's no value, all right, in laying up treasures upon earth. Okay, with FRNs, man. Okay, imaginable currency. <laughs> you know? That's ridiculous, man. You gotta put your all into your how about Shimmy Shai. That's a sure thing. That's a sure investment. Investing in a kingdom that's going down, being Esau Edom's kingdom, is not, I repeat, is not a wise investment. Okay? Why would you invest in something that is going to be destroyed? Why would you put your blood, sweat, and tears into something you know is going to be destroyed by your how about Shim Shai. That doesn't make any sense, you know? But concerning the reward that your how about Shim Shai has laid up for us and the incorruptible crown, you can die for that, man. 
It doesn't matter if you get beheaded. It doesn't matter if you get put in a concentration camp and locked up and tortured or whatever can happen, right? It don't matter because you gave your life for the ministry, for Yahweh Bar Shem Shai. And that is a sure and a profitable and a spiritual investment, man. Okay? Because then you're gonna be you're gonna be um given a new body, all right, an incorruptible body, an eternal body, where you're never gonna die, and you're gonna live forevermore. That's the prize. Okay? <laughs> so that's 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 actually worth dying for, man. Okay? You don't want to sell out, you know, to Esau, Edom, you know, get the MOTB. You know, you're standing in the line to receive the CHIP in your hand with tears rolling down your face because you're weak. You know, then you end up getting destroyed by a nuke anyway. That is a that is a terrible way to go out, man. That is a terrible way to go out, man. And I don't I don't want no parts of that existence, man. Lord willing, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kodash. You know, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. I pray that that don't befall me and any other Akiyah, man. You know, that's laboring in truth and in sincerity in his, in his faith, man. That's a terrible way to go out, man. You know, you just defeated or you following your woman. You know, she caved in, you know. She got herself, you know, done in, you know, smacked in, <laughs> as the brother Shakar uh, said one time. She got herself smacked in with that, with that chip. And she got the kids smacked in with the chip. Then all of a sudden, um, you know, you smack yourself in with the chip, man. You know, because you couldn't let go of the affairs of this life. You don't want to be in that position, man. That's a terrible place to be, man. You know, but with that, I'm going to cut this video off here now. You know, I've said everything pretty much that was on my spirit concerning this, uh, concerning this topic. So Lord willing, this video um, was edifying, you know, onto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and learning. And until the next one, I'll say Shalom.